He had my guitar up at uni and so did Harry in his room and then I noticed that at like a house party, well a flat party one day and I was like, oh do you play? And he was like, well obviously I've got a guitar in my room. Um, and then I was kind of like saying we should like practice this. We should start some, a band. Yeah. Well first we just had like a jam or something didn't we? Yeah. Well it usually be like every time you go out for pre's or anything, we just just get kind of like lost in it and just continue playing and everyone else had already left. They'd gone to town mm. and whatever and we'd just be like left behind yeah. for like an hour. Are you ready? Yes. Pretend with intro. Stages. Bleeding yeah. youth. TV dreaming. Which. Which. Everything. Everything. Straight in. Yeah. One second mate. Boys. Fellas. Yeah. What the fuck? What? 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 Our set and went for sovereigns. It's not something you want to do because you want to support all the bands and you want to encourage everyone to be there for everyone, really. Because um, you are the people we make, you do have this, or well, the people you meet at gigs, you do make this special kind of connection with being in the same boat and trying to achieve the relative same things. So you want the best of them as well. And um, I'd say there's definitely more of a supportive spirit than a competitive spirit. So you, you can only encourage people as much as you can to stick about, but you can't force people to do things really, you just have to get on with it. a lot so like I'll, I'll just be joking around a lot and um, <laughs> some other people can maybe take things a little bit more seriously sometimes yeah. and get a little bit annoyed but mm. I think that's where most of we, it stems from it just, I, I just I, 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 I just like yeah. I just enjoy annoying people sometimes to be honest with you and sometimes it annoys people <laughs> but I mean, that's not the only thing it's not just I mean there's more there's more do some pretend everything with either dreaming witch innocence eventide that we was, didn't well, we, we did we've actually we did that's we didn't we didn't I wouldn't have I wouldn't have done that Bailey because I had to change tuning like four times well, we did we, that's what we did because that's what I got that's the service we didn't that is the physical we service didn't. we didn't it can't be that but eventually it does sort itself out mm -hmm. it's never in like a Malicious way. To clarify. Yeah. <laughs> what was it? You have to put the, 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 those three together because they're in like the same tune and I'm not tuning up and down my B string. Well, a new song pretend everything. No! New song, um, <laughs> fucking bleeding you, stages. Oh, new song, stages, bleeding you. I don't really care. Did we just play bleeding you? What? No, we didn't play it last gig, but we are playing it this gig. Yeah, we played pretend after Oh my god. We did! We Probably. actually did! We did. We did. We did. I've literally right. got the set list here. Redo it. <laughs> In the order that it's on the laptop. Yeah. Yeah. With stages, new song stages. Yes. Okay, that's not what we played last week. Bro. I don't care. But we did play pretend after the okay. song. Okay. <laughs> right. Whatever. Shut up.
friends are very supportive of it. Um, my family are very supportive of it. Um, there are there have been times like in the past where um, it's been difficult to like make people understand like how much I love doing what we do. People see music as like a hobby, but when you're trying to do it how we how we want to do it, it's not really a hobby. It's like a full time job commitment, and it takes a lot of time. The new stuff, the new every single time it goes. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? This one. I'm just eating a spicy burger from the first. No, you didn't. You took your jalapenos out, you know. Yeah, obviously, it's capital. You know, it's a secret. Sure, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. So, funding's a big issue for a lot of bands. Like, we're quite fortunate, I think. But um, other small bands, just like getting like recording, studio session, even the gigs themselves cost money for us to like prep for them, driving to. And without any like funding for it, it's kind of hard to to even make it off the ground to get where you need to go, to then get the support from like record labels, bigger companies and stuff. So um, that's a big issue. I hate to say the c word, but COVID yeah. sucked. We all took a year out to like focus on the band, but then COVID happened and kind of stopped all of that. So we were all scattered like mm -hmm. across the country basically because we're all from, I'm from Nottingham, Harry's from Halifax, Lewis from up here. Yeah. So we were like, we couldn't be further away from each other. Should we break the fourth wall? What? What do you mean? Hi guys, what's going on? No! One time we got paid nine pounds for a gig between us. Uh, so, yeah. It was less than that, it was seven. Was it seven? Yeah, because um, we, we, yeah, we gave, yeah, we have to, he has to change, he gave us a tenner. Yeah. And he's like, oh, can I, have, can I have the change? We're like, what do you mean? Oh, yeah. he got seven quid. Sorry. Thanks. And if you like, oh. but if you put into context, like <laughs> we spend countless like days, like months of our lives, like writing all this music and practicing and getting this show together and like making it like <coughs> worth watching, and then to be paid seven quid for a bit of a slap in the face. Yeah. Throughout my entire like life, growing up, I never actually found or listened to rock music until about sixteen. 15 years old and then pretty much after that got a guitar straight away at 16 which is kind of late to start playing um, and then got a bass guitar at 18 and started from there. My job is kind of just to pay the bills like music is my main focus and I want to do that so it's kind of just to get me by, but yeah, when you come home from work, you are tired and have less energy to put into it, but it's something I really like doing, so. Trust me. 